Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the show that brings you the top 5 digital and social media news you need to know for this week in less than 5 minutes. I'm Nachi Lazarus and this is the Connected Church News for leaders of non-profits, churches and faith-based organizations. This week we have news from YouTube, Google, TikTok, Instagram and a news item that talks about how technology giants around the world are coming together to fight coronavirus. all of this in less than 5 minutes let's get started our first big news of this week is from youtube last week youtube released a very interesting video creation tool called youtube video builder this is a free tool available on beta right now that helps you create short promotional videos originally youtube has created this for organizations that want to create ads youtube ads Uh, but i think there is a lot of use case for this tool when it comes to non-profit churches and ministries because there is always something that you want to say in a short video format right and it's always uh, challenging because you need to hire a video team you need to shoot you need to you know do all these complicated things now youtube gives you this ability to pick up images uh, add some text add some music and they have layouts that look really really good and you can for example you can put together a quick announcement a short announcement about something that your ministry is doing or some activity for which you want to do fundraising or something like that so uh, this uh, will create the video and directly upload it on youtube and then you can just share the link uh, you don't have to necessarily release an ad if you don't want to so do check out this tool i think it might help you in multiple ways as a ministry Our next news is from TikTok. Last week TikTok added a new feature that could be a game changer. The feature is voice overs. So now you can add voice over your own voice on top of your video shots without leaving TikTok app. So uh, this makes it much much easier especially in our ministry context to convey something quickly on TikTok. because uh, it could become boring or it could become not very entertaining when you uh, keep the camera in front of you and you try to convey convey a complicated message on TikTok because the audience are young they want something to be entertaining and quick and now having voice over facility you can change the shots that you are uh, shooting on TikTok and add your voice at the back of it to make it more entertaining and more uh, captivating for the audience so do check out this new voice over feature it even has its own hashtag voice over our next news is from google google duo team has released new features on the app google duo is a popular video calling app and now they have released features like ai which will help you reduce audio interruptions make the quality of the calls better and also most importantly they have expanded the number of participants from 8 to 12 you can now have 12 people on a call when you are uh, using google duo app not just google everybody on the video conferencing space is starting to increase the seats because more people are using it and there is a big need as well so for example whatsapp announced that you can now add eight people to a whatsapp group call so if you have a whatsapp group and you just click the call button you can now add eight people to that uh, video conferencing call so uh, do check out these apps and make use of this facility for your ministry our next big news is from instagram instagram seems to be testing a new simulcast feature that would help you take your instagram live stream and push it on to facebook at the same time which means you just go live on instagram app and both your instagram audience and your facebook audience will be able to sh- see and engage with you on the live stream which uh, could be very helpful because it reduces the work of having to download your instagram live uh, session and then work on it and upload it on facebook and uh, instagram live has becoming uh, is is fast becoming very popular because it looks authentic it's on the mobile you can invite another guest and have a meaningful conversation uh, sharing the mobile screen on top at the bottom and it makes it easier for people because it does not involve heavy technology setup you just do it over phone so it's a very uh, interesting form of content that you as a ministry uh, probably needs to check out Hey before we look at the next news item I wanted to take a minute to remind you to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification on YouTube so that you don't miss another episode I really appreciate it and now let's get back to the news 
Our final news of this week is an encouraging one where we see technology giants and the founders, the brains behind these technology giants coming together to fight this COVID crisis. Earlier we had reported how Apple and Google are coming together to create a Bluetooth technology to fight COVID. Now we see Microsoft and Facebook and all of these founders coming together, putting their brilliant minds together to solve problems. The latest to join this is the co-founders of Instagram, Kevin and Mike, who have come together for the very first time since they left Facebook to create a code and create this uh, tracker for COVID-19 that tracks the uh, rate at which it spreads across different states. So I will link to all of these stories in the show notes. Do check them out. It's very encouraging to see how these brilliant minds that created these revolutionary products are coming together to solve this problem in a time as this. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to dig deeper into any of the stories we talked about, then do check out our news page, nachilazarus.com slash news. We've got all the source links and details over there. I will see you next week with another set of news items. Until then, you stay connected, stay blessed, and stay safe during this coronavirus crisis. God bless you and may God be with you. Bye-bye.